Hmm. Evening, gents. I am sending out my garage shop. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, term hot garbage, but um, I just cleaned out my garbage can. It's the can that uh, I put out to the road. And <clears throat> it, uh, you know, here where I'm at out in the county, we still have a man-powered garbage collection service. So there's actually guys that that reach into the can and pull bags out essentially is, is how they do it and they throw it into a garbage truck driven by a driver etc cetera, etc cetera. you know like they did when I was a kid most of the time now at least in this part of the country I got one of these trucks that goes in and it you know and drive, drives off usually knocking your can over in the process anyway Without a doubt, there was some rainwater that got into this can and it, you know, some old chicken bones and, you know, probably fell out of a, a garbage bag or whatever. But it literally smelled, I don't know if you've heard the expression, hot garbage. Oh my gosh, man, it smelled literally like death in there. I didn't really know what to do. We didn't have any bleach and we didn't have any like palm olive or anything like that. So I just got some Comet out and poured like some Comet powder in there and hosed it out but it, it does smell a lot better now but I do feel bad for the garbage man it's uh I know it's a dirty job and somebody's got to do it but uh it doesn't need to be that unpleasant so hopefully that's cured so if you've seen any of my previous videos you know that I've recently purchased some machinery and um I was just kind of gonna do a quick walk through and kind of show you what I had going on uh Thought I had the tin handy. I guess I do not. Uh, John Aylesbury uh, Luxury Flake or something like that in my in my um, Blake Mark Cuddy. Hmm. Like I need it. Hmm. So you guys know the kayak. You've uh, already been kind of familiar with that I'm gonna to try to get back here and show you the lathe so uh, you know we picked this stuff up you know I got it off the trailer I don't know if you saw me getting off the trailer with uh, if not watch my previous video it's fast motion it's only about two and a half minutes so we, we picked it up off the trailer with uh, what's known as a shop crane or an engine hoist or what we call them down here in Alabama a cherry picker and um, it's rated Traded at two tons, so that's uh, pretty close to 4,000 pounds, and it lifted everything really pretty easily. Uh, the key to this is having the right kind of straps and stuff to lift this stuff with. But um, I'm going to walk by the lathe here. It's a LeBron 1967 model, and it is a uh, 15 by 54. It's not a servo shift. Sorry about that rattle. It's not a servo shift. It's just a regular old lathe. And you know, it's uh, one of these numbers. That, well, she's locked up. There we go. It's a good sized lathe. It's about 105, 106 inches long. 54 inches between centers. And um, it's got a 15 inch swing on it. At least that's what the that's what the serial number told me. So I'm good with that. So this is just kind of all the stuff I got out of the uh, container that I bought. Which I don't know if I've posted that video yet, but I also bought a shipping container and I sold it. So uh, there's my lathe. I got what's known as a Lista cabinet. Um, do you guys know what a Lista cabinet is? Because I sure as hell didn't. Sure as heck didn't. Sorry, I'm trying to cuss a little less. Don't ask me why. I'm gonna do my Zippo. Where's my beer? Hmm. I gotta walk around everything out here because I got so much junk. Actually, it's not junk. It's like cool stuff now. I'll tell you what. I'll reveal what that is in just a second. I am a sucker for beer marketing like if you put out like the red white and blue cans I'll buy them you know like around the 4th of July 
they look like an American flag, like a red, white, and blue can, or special America can, or whatever. So uh, Miller High Life, which is is decent lawnmower beer, put out a Heritage series where they go do like some throwback designs or whatever. So uh, you can see the champagne of beers. That's always been like their slogan or whatever. You know? I don't know what this one is. No. I don't have hands. You know, I bought a, um, I bought one of these little, um, multi-tools that came with, like, a little tripod set, you know? You could set your camera up to it with a suction cup and all that. Get behind it. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. So, yeah, it's, uh, got kind of an old-style logo. I don't know if that was actually used during any time. Whatever. still incredibly decent beer one of the better uh, lawnmower beers actually you know I mean, for flavor it gets kind of a bad rap because it's cheap but um, I kind of like it to the mill the mill is a jet which was uh, not my first I mean it's not my first choice any machinist is going to tell you he wants a bridge port I mean he or she wants a bridge port uh, the bridge port is is um, a USA made I I tell you there's some others out there bridge port is just the most common I guess because they kind of uh, I don't know if they invented it or not but it's it's certainly the um, the name that has been adopted into our lexicon as far as a knee, knee and column type mill or knee type mill. This is a jet. It's made in China. Uh, that's not my first choice, but there's some other mills out there. Lagoon, those are big, heavy mills. Excello, Bridgeport. And there's there's some others that, that I couldn't tell you, you know, right off the top of my head. I haven't done a whole lot of manual mill work. I've done a little bit. I've done mostly manual lathe work, but whatever. Uh, I've done a lot of CNC mill work, actually. So, here's the mill. And I've got the head kicked over at 90 degrees. So this part here would be running up and down with this at the top. And that's your actual mill head right there. But I've got it. I've got it rotated at 90 to get the CG as low as possible, and it's just sitting on a two by four column. But you know, I took all the handles off and all that stuff, so you really can't tell much about it. The table here, which runs right in through here, is it's only like a 36 inch table with uh, I don't know maybe 20 inches of travel. But I kind of like that. It's a it's a small mill. It's um. Sorry uh, if I made you motion sick doing that. I, I, I really kind of have to dance around in here because the, uh, the footprint is, is really taken up by a lot of stuff. But it's a small mill, and um, I think that's kind of good. I mean, it's a small footprint, so it's going to be a small footprint in my shop, etc., etc. I just run out of Zippo fuel. really need one of those Thunderbird inserts. Hmm. All right, nine minutes. We looked at the mill, we looked at the lathe. I got right in the middle of talking about list of cabinets and then decided I wanted a beer. Now I've set the beer down. Let's go back over here and look at list of cabinets. So list of cabinet, what is it? Well, it's kind of like a toolbox, except it's more of a piece of cabinetry. So this thing's like 40-something inches tall, and it's got drawers that are like toolbox drawers. Super heavy duty. I could not believe how much this thing weighed. I mean, it was it was all I could do to get this thing in and out of the bed of my truck. But you can see it's it's broken down just like a toolbox, and uh, I think she's got nine drawers, so plenty of um, plenty of storage space as far as that goes in the old Lista. And those things I didn't realize, but they're um, 
they're kind of pricey. I mean, I'll be honest, these list of cabinets are not cheap. It's a good thing, you know. Um, it's all part of the package, right? So it's going to go well in my shop. So I also have an electrical panel over here, which I don't think I'm going to be able to get to. It's uh, it's one of these big industrial size jobbers. Let me see if I can just shine the camera over there. There it is right down there in the floor, and it's uh, right next to my flammable cabinet. So, I've got one of these flammable cabinets, so I'll have to find something to put in it. And uh, last but not least is my transformer I've got. It's uh, more than meets the eye. It, uh, a transformer and a big heavy duty cable. It's, it's got a, um, it's a, it's a single phase 220 to three phase 480 output. And you can see she's about the size of like maybe an old 19 or 20 inch TV, you know, the old CRT models. And uh, I mean, I really couldn't tell you if any of this stuff works. I'm just kind of going on good faith that it does. It was working when they unplugged it. How's that? But um, anyway, that's kind of a tour of what I bought in the uh, old shipping container there. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I'm going to be really excited to get my shop built and get all this stuff put in its uh, proper place and, and maybe even hire an industrial electrician to come out and hook all this stuff up because Lord knows I don't know how to do all that, but I'm sure I can find somebody that will. But anyway, that's just kind of a, a tour of, uh, you know, we've got a three car garage here now and it's in like the third bay. So... Um, it's kind of in a good storage spot as far as that goes. Forever, how many months it takes me to get a company out here to build my garage. You know, down here, I'm sure like anywhere, there's, uh, there's companies that specialize in building garages, outbuildings, pavilions, etc. So, uh, as soon as I can get some, somebody on contract to, uh, get this done. I'll uh, hopefully be posting more videos of moving these machines again and hopefully get them um, get them hooked up and, and running. We'll see what's going on. So, 12-minute uh, video. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, it was just kind of a ramble, and thanks for staying with me. Talk to you later.